right, parking lot question. And uh, forgive the ticking sound, that's the hazard light sign. Um, but anyway, parking lot question, what are some really, really good Christian books that uh, I would recommend for Christians to grow? Now, this is not going to be in any order, but I'm going to explain what the books are about. So first and foremost, I would definitely, definitely recommend How to Read a Book. The title of the book is How to Read a Book. I know that sounds really funny and really ironic, but a lot of people don't really know how to read the Bible as a book. Um, they, they approach the Bible with this hardcore, ultra, super mystical lens, and it just ruins interpretation. So how to read a book would be a very good uh, book for that. Uh, another one would be how to read the Bible for all it's worth. That's very, very accessible. Uh, or you could get an invitation to exegesis and hermeneutics. Uh, so those are those are some really really good books. Now in terms of um, those those are uh, books about how to interpret the Bible, and these are very very good. Um, a study Bible, obviously, study Bibles are very very helpful. Now for other kinds of books, okay, not in any order, but here's the thing: I believe that Scripture is very clear about your spiritual growth um, requiring church. Church is not an option. People who say, I love Jesus, I just don't need the church, they are, they don't really love Jesus, okay? So if you truly love Jesus, <coughs> if you truly love Jesus, you will love the church. So my suggestion would be Nine Marks of a Healthy Church, written by Mark Dever or Nine Marks Publication. That's a very, very good book to read. Uh, to appreciate, not, not just appreciate church, but to find out if your the, the local church you're attending is healthy or not. So that's number one. Uh, the second book I would recommend is actually a duality of books. Um, if you're a guy or a girl, doesn't matter. Read them both. Written by Elizabeth Elliot. The title is The Marks of a Man and Let Me Be a Woman. Those are two separate books. Marks of a Man let me be a woman both written by elizabeth elliot so even if you're a guy read let me be a woman even if you're a gal read the marks of a man so read both these are so great for your sanctification another really really good one is the book by steve farrar entitled finishing strong um it caters more to men but it's also very very good for women to read uh, it, it it basically highlights the importance of taking our spiritual life seriously and for us to be able to finish strong in our faith. So Finishing Strong by Steve Farrar. Uh, another book I would recommend is Man in the Mirror. The Man in the Mirror is another really good book for self-reflection. If you want hardcore painful self-reflection, uh, this is going to be a little deep, a little very, very painful actually, if you read it and really uh, apply uh, what you read. Uh, Richard Baxter's The Reformed Pastor. Now, I know when you say, oh, Reformed Pastor is only for pastors. Not really. When you read his works, um, even as a woman, as a lady, as a sister in Christ, you will appreciate uh, everything he's written in that book, The Reformed Pastor by uh, Baxter. Then, um, there are two more books uh, on church membership. I would very, very highly encourage uh, Church Membership and then Church Discipline, both written by Tabiti Anyabuile. Uh, or Nine Marks. Just search Nine Marks because Tabiti Anyabuile might be a very difficult name for you to Google. So Nine Marks um, Church Membership and also Nine Marks uh, Church Discipline. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, of course, there's the, there, are, there are classics uh, written by uh, Spurgeon. Uh, you know, almost everything written by Spurgeon or Sproul are always good. Sproul especially because he's he writes the way he speaks, which is very, very quote-unquote reader-friendly. He doesn't use deep theological words uh, unnecessarily, and when he does use them, he explains them. So anything by Sproul is always uh, a real deal, deal a good book to read. Um, I would also highly recommend... Um, uh, the Many Faces of Deception by Florence Buell. The Many Faces of Deception uh, by Florence Buell. I love that book. Love, 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 love that book. Um, it opens your eyes to so many different deceptive practices and beliefs in so many different religious organizations. Uh, then there is Cat and Dog Theology by Bob Shogren, which changes your perspective about how you view God. Uh, these are just some classics. I'm, I'm just mentioning books that are from the top of my head that I think everyone should really read. Of course, there are other books out there that are 
uh, more specified, you know, like the Jesus driven ministry or, uh, no, sorry, Jesus centered ministry that's for pastors or shepherding the small church, which is also for pastors. But, you know, like for, for every believer out there, for every Christian out there, these are some really, really incredible books to read. Um, what else? What else? Oh, this is not a book, but it's so good to read. Uh, Jonathan Edwards, Sinners in the Hands of an Angry God. This is not a book. If you print this at font 12, you'll probably have like 7 to 11 pages depending on your uh, how many spaces per line. But, but that's a very good uh, sermon to read. Sinners in the Hands of an Angry God by Jonathan Edwards. Um, but yeah, those are the top books I would recommend. Guys, here's the thing. Don't pressure yourself to read all the books. Uh, my suggestion is give yourself like a chapter a week or a goal or a chapter a day, a chapter a week, a chapter a month. Uh, a chapter a month is too far and too long. Okay, maybe a chapter a week, a chapter every two days or two chapters per week, something like that. Set a goal for yourself and then slowly build up to that. 